In this tutorial, we will draw a generic smartphone. So let's start by drawing the body of the phone. So we'll start a 2D sketch. We'll start that on the XY plane. We'll start using a two point center rectangle. We'll start that at the origin, zoom out a little bit. We have the width of the body being 78 mil, the height being 160, press enter. Let's go ahead and add some fillets to that. So we'll do 15 mil fillets to each of the corners. There we go. We can go ahead and 3D model and extrude that body. So let's extrude that by eight millimeters. It's looking good. Let's add some fillets as well to these, uh, to these edges. So let's select the loop uh, select mode. For the radius, we'll put in two mil. We'll select both of these two loops here, press OK. There we go. Now we've completed the body of our part. Next, let's draw the screen. So this will be the front of the phone. We'll left click here, create 2D sketch. We'll project uh, the existing geometry. So we'll select the entire face there. We'll then go to offset. We'll offset that geometry by three millimeters. Then we we'll just zoom in on the top and we'll put in the detail here where the uh, speaker and the proximity sensors go. So let's use the line tool, let's draw down a straight line across and back up. Let's put in some dimensions. So let's use the height as five mil and the length uh, of this flat here. So between the end point here and the end point here, that'd be 10 mil, exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to select this dimension. Press OK. Now we can put in some fillets. Let's select the fillet tool and we'll input some three mil fillets on these lower corners here. So let's select those two and those two there. And then we'll put in uh, some 0.5 mil fillets on the top two corners. Now, when I do this, uh, this line here will disappear like so. That's fine. Let's put that line back in it's because we put the rad in. We'll put the rad in on the other side. So again, 0.5 millimeter. Okay, that's our profile complete. Let's go on 3D model and let's extrude that. Yeah, select that face there. We'll extrude that by 0.25 mil. So the purpose of doing this is to later uh, add the decal on top of that face there. And next we'll add the speaker and the proximity sensors. So we'll select this face here, add a 2D sketch, zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna project uh, this face here just so I can use its geometries. I'm going to draw in a straight line here. I'm going to put that as a construction line. Then we can input the speaker at the top. So for this, let's choose the center point slot. Start that at the center of our construction line. We'll go across by maybe five millimeters. And then this is the diameter dimension here. So we have a rad of 1.5, so it's a diameter of three mil. That's fully constrained. Let's then use the circle tool and input the sensors. So I'll we'll choose one mil diameter for these two. Oh no, sorry, it's 1.5 mil. Change that. 1.5. Okay. I'll just put in a vertical constraint between the center point of these uh, holes and the center point of the arc here. Then they are fully constrained. Let's go on 3D model. Let's extrude those three profiles there. Extrude cut, and again by 0.25 millimeters, like so. Next, let's input the volume buttons. So we'll select this face here for them. Left click once, create 2D sketch. And we'll use the center point slot once again. I'm just going to draw the slot to the side. So the dimensions of the slot, so it's 10 mil in height, so it'll be five there. And for the diameter, we have a rad of 1.2, so it'll be 2.4, a volume button. We'll put in a dimension between the center point of this arc and this line here at 25 millimeters. And then we use the vertical constraint between the center point of this flat and the center of our slot just there. Now that's fully constrained. Let's add in the other volume button. So this will be to increase volume and the lower one will be to decrease the volume. We use a line tool and we're just gonna mirror uh, that volume button. So let's put a line in there, put it as a construction line. We'll dimension that from the arc, uh, sorry, from the center point of this arc at two millimeters. And then we use the mirror tool. We'll select that volume button. 
I will mirror it about that construction line there. Press apply. Looking good. Let's go to 3D model and extrude those volume buttons. Let's extrude them by one millimeter. Then we'll put in some fillets to get rid of those sharp uh, corners. Again, let's choose loop mode and we'll select this loop here and this loop. We'll put them in at, uh, sorry, 0.1 millimeters. Then we'll add another rad, which will be this loop and this loop, and that will be 0.4 mil. Okay. And then we have our volume buttons. Next, let's put in the power button. So this will lie on the opposing face. So let's select this one here. And to do this, I'm going to project the geometries of this volume button here. So I'm going to select the arc straight line, rotate that, select that straight line, just select that arc as well. I'm going to rotate the model and I'm going to select project geometry. And now that geometry is now projected onto this face that we're drawing on. Let's go on 3D model. Let's extrude that power button again by one mil. It's looking good. Add in the fillets there. So we have 0.4 mil there. And here we'll have 0.1. Okay, now we've got our power button and our two volume buttons. Next, we'll put in the charging port. So this will be on the underside here. Select this face, create 2D sketch. And for this, I'm going to draw in a straight line across here. Put that as a construction line. And I'm going to choose a center point slot from the center of that construction line, which will be 4 mil. It's half of the slot's length, and then the diameter, that's 2.8. That's okay, that's looking good. A 3D model. Let's extrude cut that by 5 mil. And there we've got the port for charging the phone. And adjacent to that, let's put in the speakers as well. So I'm going to draw in a reference line one more time. Put that as a construction line. I'll add in one speaker to start with. This has a diameter of one millimeter. And let's go on the rectangular pattern tool, select that geometry, and we'll select the direction to be our construction line here. We'll flip the direction, that's correct, into six instances, and the offset distance to be two millimeters. Okay. Let's do exactly the same on the other side. So to do this, let's draw in a mirror line. That has a construction line. Then it's just mirror our six speakers about that construction line, press apply. And we can go to 3D model, and we can, ex we can extrude the 12 speakers here. Let's extrude cut by three mil, enter. They have our charging port and our speakers on the bottom. It's looking good so far. Now for the last piece of geometry to add, do this on the back face, this will be the camera. So we'll start a 2D sketch and we'll select just use the two point uh, rectangle. Let's dimension that. So we'll dimension that as 25 by 30, so 25 length, uh, 30 in height. Then we'll dimension that. So we'll dimension the corner point here to this line, five millimeters. And then this line to the top be five millimeters as well. So that's fully constrained. And let's put in the fillets as well. So the fillets here are five mil, put in five and we'll apply those to all four corners. And then we can go ahead and extrude that profile. Let's extrude that by two and a half mil. Now let's start a 2D sketch on this face here. We can input the positions for the cameras. So we'll choose Three cameras here, and we do a small flash up here. I'm just going to project this geometry so we can reference it. I'm going to put in a vertical constraint between these two center points and these two here. I'm going to dimension one of the circles, just roughly anyway. So we can do this as a seven mil from the top and from the side. Oh, again, let's do seven mil as well. Dimension the diameter as ten mil. We'll put in an equal constraint between that circle and this one, and also our third camera, which lies just here. Let's move that camera over a little bit. Then we dimension the flash as four mil.
Then let's go on 3D model and we'll extrude cut those four profiles there. We'll cut those by 0.25 millimeters. And again, we just want to have these four faces here to which later we can apply decals to. So that's all the geometry of the phone complete. We now just need to uh, apply our decals to each of the faces. Let's start with this face here. To do this, I'm going to offset a plane from here by 25 mil. I'm going to start a new 2D sketch on this plane. I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to select the uh, appropriate decal. So it'll be this one here. And as you can see, it's much larger than it needs to be. I'm just going to scale that down and do this roughly uh, for the purposes of this tutorial. I'm not going to uh, dimension or, or, or scale it uh, accurately. Let's go to 3D model, select decal, select that face there. And we'll remove automatic face chain, press OK. Then we'll just hide that work plane, so right click, press V. Let's select this face here. I'm going to adjust its appearance. So instead of the sky blue dark, I'm going to put in here an anodized black. OK. That's looking good. And then we can put our speaker grill onto this face here. We're going to start a new 2D sketch on that work plane. Right click, select new 2D sketch. Start an image. We'll put in uh, the speaker grill. Again, far too large for what we need. Let's scale that right down. Position that roughly. Then we're going to 3D model. Choose the decal tool. Select that face there. Let's OK. There we have our speaker. That looks good. One more decal which we can add is uh, a clock. So let's insert an image and we'll select this clock here. Again, let's just scale that down. Position it roughly there, 3D model. And we'll select this face here. OK. That's looking good. And then last, we'll go onto the back face. And we will first of all put a logo onto this face here. So start a new 2D sketch, insert. Just going to input the inventor logo. I'm going to scale that down uh, roughly like so. Position that okay, roughly in the middle. 3D model. Select that face. Press OK. And we have our logo. And last of all, we just need to input the images of the cameras here. So let's start a new 2D sketch on this face. We'll go to insert, select our camera lens, put three of them in for now, and then we'll roughly scale that one down. And then we'll begin to use the tangent constraint between the edge of this line and the circle. Do the bottom line, the circle, and again, this line here. And now, because we've uh, used the tangent constraint on all three uh, sides of the image and this circle, it will scale uh, automatically. So let's do the same with the other two images. Okay, that's looking nice. Now we just want to, let's finish the sketch there. I want to put in a, an appearance here. I'm gonna select that face, click adjust. I'm gonna put in, uh, I'll just put in a white color. So this will represent uh, the light. Select white, press okay. And there we have the completed smartphone. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. I will reply as soon as I can. But I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.